Hi, I'm Mark Luthold, and I'm going to show you how to program the BIS kiln. Now, uh, here's our Bartlett controller, and look at how there's no light on here. And that's because I haven't pressed the little white button in the kiln sitter. So, have a look. And uh, I'm, my cone is in place. I just uh, set it up uh, earlier when I loaded the BIS kiln. And I need to press this button in this little white button inside this this weight you'll see it and so now do you see I have I have uh, numbers happening here what's happening well it says the kiln is idle which means it's off and uh, TC2 that's referring to one of the uh, thermocouples it doesn't matter uh, and uh, 62 degrees means it's 62 degrees in this space and in the kiln so uh, now I'm ready to program the kiln for a bisque. So I'm going to have a look here. Here are my cone fires. And uh, we have slow bisque, fast bisque, slow glaze, fast glaze. Slow glaze is always the way to go because your pieces are less likely to crack and break in a slow bisque. So I have SBC, slow bisque, and I press enter. Now it wants to know what cone. So cone 08 is a very good temperature for a bisque kiln. Some people bisque at 06. There are a variety of temperatures. For terracotta, I would favor 08. It's a little bit lower. It'll be a little better. Uh, you don't want the clay to be fired too hot in a bisque for terracotta. 06 is a little hotter. So here's our 08 cone, and then you have to press enter. Now it's asking you how long to hold it at peak temperature. Peak temperature is, I think, 1728 degrees. And it's asking you how long should it hold it at that peak temperature. Not too long, because that can cause bad things for your piece. But maybe four minutes, that's fine. So just press four and enter. And that's, that's done. Now, but for a bisque firing, you don't want it to start, you don't want it to start right away. You want to have a preheat. So in order to program a preheat, press the menu button twice. Here's once, it says reset, and then a second time, it says PRHT preheat. Then press enter. And now it's asking you how long it wants you to hold at a preheat temperature. That's below 212 degrees. Well, let's see. How about, well, if my works are very thin and dry, I think three or four hours would be just fine. Uh, if they're a, a little bit thicker and maybe a little moist, you want to go longer. If they're really thick, you might want to go as long as 24 hours. Um, but that uh, that slows the kiln a lot, and uh, it's not good to have your pieces be super thick. So let's do a happy medium and say our pieces are a tiny bit wet. We'll do 12 hours. So here's 12, but be careful. That's only 12 minutes. Do you see this decimal point? You've got to get zeros behind that's one hour and 20 minutes and now we're 12 hours because the decimal point is behind the two so then we press enter and now our preheat is is programmed we're done programming let's review it right here it says review program slow bisque preheat for 12 hours cone 08 1728 degrees and it wants to hold at peak temperature for four minutes and we're good to go. Now we're ready to start the kiln. To start the kiln, all you have to do is press this start button. Now look, it says idle. That means it's not on. So you press this, and did you hear the relays switching? Uh, the relays are signaling heat to uh, you know, enter the kiln, to, to heat the, uh, the electrical elements in the kiln. So we're good to go. Sometimes you have to press that start button twice. So always wait until you can hear that clicking noise. And you're good to go. That's our programming, our bisque firing.